deck belt broke on my mower, so I had to make a new one. It cost 45 bucks for a new one, so I can, I can make it. No big deal. Now this is my MTD rider mower. I had it three years. The belt ran good. Never snapped for some reason. Last week the belt snapped. And it snapped right here where it comes out of the spring. So for some reason, what I did is I, uh, I made my own. I put a little uh, hole in the bolt, stuck the wire through it, soldered it, cut the bolt. Then the bolt goes right to the spring and stops at the bottom of the spring right there. So when I pull the lever, the spring moves the plate, pushes the pulleys against the belt and the uh, blades start turning. But for some reason, every time I make a wire, it snaps right there. So there's a little sharp piece where the coil spring stops. So this time what I did is I took a grinder and I beveled up the sharp point on it. I think, I think what was happening is the vibration was causing the point to dig into the, uh, the cable. And it kept snapping the cable. So we're going to see how this goes on this new belt, new cable I made. So uh, anyway, wish me luck, huh? Okay, I'm going to wrap it up, guys. What I ended up doing, that stupid cable snapped again. I couldn't believe it, you know. It was the exact same thickness as the cable that came on the mower originally. And that, what I had done is I got, went to Home Depot and I bought a roll of wire, same thickness and everything. It was a braided strand, you know, it was twisted, you know, among itself. Like. But anyway, I ran it through the conduit and I soldered a little uh, bolt on the end. I put a hole, stuck the cable through the hole, soldered it to the bolt. Then I cut the bolt so it would fit in between that spring, inside the spring. Slid it down the, to the end of the spring. The solder held great, you know, just like the factory. But uh, for some reason, the cable keeps snapping right there where the end of the spring is. So finally, after all, you know, five times of replacing the cable, it snapped in the same place within a second of engaging it. I said, the heck with this. I went down to the hardware store. I bought a, a clothesline, 15 bucks, right? 50 bucks for the cable, but the clothesline cost 15 bucks. I could make about 50 cables with that. So anyway, what I did is I uh, I made a cable that was 34 inches long, soldered the little ball on the end of that cable, did my fancy stuff, put the cable in through the spring, and then instead of uh, hooking it up, what I did is I ran it all the way back to the trailer, underneath the trailer, and tied it to the stupid trailer, where the trailer hitch would go, and back on the mower, right? And I put tension on it. I pulled it tight so that the pulley is pushed against the uh, belt. And it engaged the blades and the blades started turning, right? But the thing is, it turns constantly, even if you stop the mower. And it's idling, the blades turn. So you got to watch your feet. But in my case, it's cheaper than paying 45 bucks for another stinking belt. And nobody's got a belt. They make them in the States and it's because of this COVID. The factory that makes them, they're not shipping any out. There's nobody working. And the guys told me when I called, I ordered the belt. I said, hey, how long is it going to take me? I need to cut my grass. Oh, a couple of months. It's a back order. I said, screw this. You know, I went out and I made my own cable. It's cutting great. I cut the grass yesterday four and a half hours with my temporary fix, which I'll probably just leave it like that forever. And ever and ever. But anyway, uh, if I hadn't had to pay 45 bucks or 35 bucks for a cable, that would have cost me a couple of hundred bucks this week alone, you know, because it broke every time I put it on. So, I thought I'd put this online. Maybe it'll help you guys, you know, save you some money. Go get yourself a coffee and a donut, Dunkin' Donut. You know, they got the best. Okay, we'll see you later. Have a great day and have a blessed week, you know. You know?